Never lose sight of what we are about. The International Monetary Fund is here to serve and to provide services to its 187 members. With a view to what? To help restore stability where there is instability, and there is plenty of that around. To help make sure that the economies of the world work better to provide a better welfare for people. The world is going to continue to change. We have these you know, tectonic plaques that are moving at the moment, and that needs to be reflected in the composition, governance, and uh, employment of, of the fund, and I will continue that. There is uh, an IMF board meeting, which is scheduled for Friday, at which we shall consider the fourth review and eventually the payment of the fifth tranche uh, that falls due. We're not short of challenges. There are plenty, plenty of challenges. Uh, let us not forget that we're just coming out of one of the uh, major financial crises in centuries. Uh, the financial crisis that hit the entire world, but more so the advanced economies uh, back in the late 2008, has left scars, marks, and remains. Uh, we need to deal with that. We dealt with the crisis as a matter of emergency, and the fund did very well under its previous management. And of course, not all countries will ask for a program, but this is a rather big amount of money. We still have huge challenges ahead of us. You have sovereign debt issues in most of the advanced countries, most acute in a monetary zone called the Eurozone, which I'm very familiar with, but it's not the only one. The sovereign debt issue is pretty much all over the place in the advanced economies, from Japan to the United States, and obviously um, epitomizing in, in, uh, in the European uh, Union and the Eurozone in particular. And then you have some risk of overheating in uh, emerging economies with what comes with it, generally, inflation. And pretty much all around the globe, you have unemployment rising or not resolved and not abating. So we've got lots and lots of issues.